Welcome to Chosen Generation. I am your host, Emanuela Young. On today's show, we're going to be talking about how media affects the youth. And I have a special guest with me today. His name is Minister Vernell Samuel. He is the founder of Hungry for God and also the founder of Hungry for Change. I'm telling you, today is going to be phenomenal. Stay tuned. Let's get ready. Let's go. about to go down. So we're gonna go down. As I see y'all. back on my life and I see where you brought me from. My life was full of sin, but you cleansed me, Lord, within. And you gave me new life and opened my eyes to see. And I thank you, God. Welcome back to Chosen Generation. Listen, right now in the studio, we have none other than Minister Vernell Samuel. How you doing, Emmanuel? How you doing? Um, Thank you so much for coming. Thanks for having me. Listen, can you tell us all who is Minister Vernell Samuel? Who, who are you? Uh, who am I? I'm a simple man, love God, love people, and I'm just dedicated to uh, seeing this world really impacted by the reality of God's love. You know, I'm sold out. Um, got saved when I was probably about what? 14 years old, my freshman year of high school, and uh, honestly, you know, you hear people who say they got saved and left, and came back. Mm -hmm. I, I got saved and I was, I've been saved since that day, and um, I just kept growing um, in the love of God, and I, I really want to just see people come into a reality that Jesus is real, and his power is real, and this stuff is legit, and I've been privileged enough to experience the reality of it, and I just want people to know that, you know, that's pretty much it. That's awesome. Never oh, turn yeah. back. God saved and never turn back. <laughs> never turn back. I, my father, you know, I was born in church, but I, you know, my father, he's a pastor as well, so my brother is in, you know, he's an elder, and, um, you know, I, I guess it's because I had that reinforcement where I, I actually seen, you know, other men of God who really love God, so right. I had that foundation to build on, so I was blessed for that, you know, and awesome. I, that's my, that's really what I just want to see people. So you said that your father's a pastor. Yeah. What's the name of your father? My what, father. What church do you, do you go to? Uh, pastor Nelson Samuel. My mm -hmm. father is a pastor of Love Tabernacle International Fellowship um, out in Brooklyn, New York. And um, we've been in existence for about 15 years now. Awesome. So my father has a testimony. My, my, my mother actually brought him into Christ. What? So, you know, he became a pastor. And, uh, awesome. He never looked back. So. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. So let me, let, let me ask you, how old are you? I'm um, 26 years old. 26? Yes. Wow. 26. Loving God, on fire for God, and you are young. Yes. But yes, I also, in reading, in reading your bio and knowing a little bit about you, you are a newlywed, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, married to a beautiful, uh, my beautiful wife, uh, Shanique. We got married uh, last June, so we we're about a, a little over a year now. And I'm excited. Got a, a kid on the way. And Woo! Congrats. Um, yeah. <laughs> I know it's another it's gonna be working and of itself, but um I'm looking forward to the challenge. Yes, you know? awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, I know that you are the founder for Hungry for Change and Hungry for God. Yes. Can you tell us number one, what is Hungry for God? What is the Hungry for God movement? Because when I go on Facebook, I'm seeing about you. I remember going to Pastor Aretha Wilson's she had a yes. she had a she had an evening a service and you guys were there ministering. <laughs> yes. I tell mean. us, tell everybody, what is <sighs> hungry for God? Hungry for God. What is hungry for God? Number one, it's not a church. Okay. I've been hearing people been calling me Pastor Vernell, Pastor Jr. All this <laughs> stuff. It's not a church. Okay. Um, it started off about four years ago. We started off as a Bible study group. Okay. Um, the Lord. It was it was really at a time now I did say I was saved when I got when I came into high school but I didn't act saved all those times you know what yeah. I'm saying um, and there was a point where I became really discouraged and really bored yeah. in my faith because what I was reading in the Bible wasn't what I was seeing outside mm -hmm. in the churches and for me I was hungry for the deeper things of God I was I wanted to see miracles 
I want to see healings. Yeah. I want to see the stuff that Jesus did, uh -huh. you know. And so um, while I was out really ministering and playing out with groups and things like that, I'm a musician, by the way. Okay. Yeah, You're so a musician. What you play? I play the piano. You play the piano. So okay. I was privileged enough to play, you know, all across America. And um, I've been playing out, and I just was bored. And I got to a place where I was really, that boredom was, was turning into frustration where I, I had no drive, no passion for God. I didn't want to be in church anymore. Wow. And um, I just said one day, Lord, I said, God, you got to do something about this. And then God just spoke back to me and said, you do something about it. That's right. Um, and he gave me the idea of starting this Bible study. And I started it, got some friends, told people to come through. Yeah. Nothing big, no big major intention. I know. I didn't know how long it was going to last. And it turned into this powerful ministry where... I mean, we've seen people come in, we've seen healings, we've wow. seen miracles financially, um, so, people who are healed emotionally, physically. Uh, I mean, just really, I mean, we're, all, we're seeing the reality, like I've been talking about, the reality of God's presence. And um, from, from musicians to worship leaders to even pastors, we have um, so many ministry leaders that come and just fellowship with us. Every Monday night, we, uh, uh, Pastor James Powell, I believe, yes. was on the show. Yes. He comes through often. Uh, awesome. Prophet Courtney Bradley, uh, Minister, uh, we have Danielle Lewis Johnson. Yes. She comes through often. Um, Jovita Shepherd, she's a part of, you know, we go out to do our worship events. And I mean, it's just like we're like a family who are just hungry for God, literally. Whoever's hungry for God, tired of religion, tired of church, Come to Hungry for God just to simply be edified, be encouraged, and ultimately be imparted and um, and to grow out and really continue in the things that God has called them to do. So. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, also, do for Hungry for God, do you have a website or anything that they go to? Yeah, we have a. We to have learn a, more about this and even get more information. Absolutely. You can find us on um, um, www.h4gnation.com. Okay. is a website. Um, we also have some. We have a free podcast. If you go on iTunes and just type in "Hungry for God," you can hear yeah. about. You can hear all our teachings on there. Yeah. Um, Facebook us, "Hungry for God," "Hungry yeah. for God," and um, I mean, we're all over. The, we're all over the social media sites okay. just to get people to know, you know, who we are and what we're doing. And that's all right. that, that's awesome. We're gonna take a quick commercial break, but when we come back, we're gonna be talking about how the media affects the youth. Yeah. Stay tuned. Yeah. Same old song, same old sound. That's why I'm 